Oh, shots fired. Name. I'm just saying. <laughs> You're just never going to forgive me for the hair dryer line. Exactly. <laughs> What's up? Every time I talk to you, I feel like I need to cleanse. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That's why you're a writer. <laughs> what are you seeing from uh, Virginia Tech's defensive front? Good, good defense. I mean, I've known Bud. I went against him when I was in, in the ACC. Um, and they're, that's, they're, they're kind of known for, you know, creating turnovers, playing hard, physical, they're very athletic. I mean, it's going to be a great challenge for us. They, run, it's kind of like that four-four. What uh, does that compare to any teams you face this year? Um. I'm sure it does, but I can't remember. You know, I'm a little old. I can't remember much past Monday. Um, but, yeah, I mean, he's done that. I mean, he's obviously one of the top court defensive coordinators in the country, has been for many years, and uh, gets his kids to play hard. And they got some really um, athletic young kids, too, that have started, they've started getting the lineup the last half of the season. It's really, you know, they, their back-end kids are pretty athletic. They've got a good deep front. Both ends are, are uh, very athletic. And, uh, you know, and he's been... You know, they know what they want to do. You know, they, they, he's been coaching that for a long time. How much does it help the offensive line to have, you know, two weeks to prepare for a situation like this, especially in the last few weeks? They've done well, a little it helps better. everybody, you know. But then on the, other, on the other flip side of that is their defense has two weeks to prepare for us. So it all kind of, it all kind of evens out in the wash, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, both teams have a little more time to study film and get game plans and, you know, be familiar with your offense and the defense. Devin, Devin got uh, most improved player, Devin Lucian. Mm-hmm. Um, what have you seen out of him in these last few weeks, especially after he caught that first touchdown of the year? Have you seen a change in him? Or? Yeah, I think he's uh, he's got a little confidence. You know, it's kind of like you, know, you ask her, you ask, you ask her, and you ask her, and you ask her. Finally, she says she wants to go on a date. You go on your first date, the next one's a lot easier, <laughs> right? And uh, that's how he is. You know, it's. Got, I want to be clear on this. You're saying that Devin Lucy <laughs> lacked confidence. No, no, he didn't lack confidence. Oh, okay. But, you know, right, right. you know, how it is. you throw your first touchdown pass, you make your first catch. I think he's, you know, he's really, I'm really proud of how he played, you know, from the last four or five games this season. <laughs> Just want to make sure we're clear on these good, things. I'm always good to you. <laughs> a lot of these bull prices are about developing younger guys. Um, how has Ashanti and Craig developed since you saw them in San Bernardino? Uh, something's come a long ways. You know, he did a great job in the scout team all year. Which defensive coach has been talking about him, and now, but now he's coming out running our stuff. And so it's like anything. Every day he gets, he learns some, some, um, you know, how to run the offense a little bit better. So this is a great opportunity for him, so that he's more prepared coming into spring ball. What have you seen from him in terms of improving his uh, pocket presence? Um, yeah, I think the live stuff has been good for him. You know, I'd like him to, um, you know, have, develop more pocket presence. He's got he's got some he's got some good great skills as far as throwing the football, but but things are moving a little bit fast for him at times, and uh, so he loses a little focus in the pocket. So he's, that's just some something he's gonna get better at staying in the pocket, getting to a second third progression. Is he a guy where you th- you think about it all right now, just given the decision Brett has to make that you have to kind of put him in place as that insurance policy yeah. that if Brad has to leave, or if he does leave for the NFL, then... All I'm worried about right now is getting my guys ready for Virginia Tech. You know, whatever happens, happens. This is what I've learned in life. I only worry about things I control, and all I can control now is how how well we can be prepared to play Virginia Tech. All that other stuff will take care of itself. Whatever happens, happens. Have you talked to Brett at all about his decision? About Virginia Tech, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Brent's declaring for Virginia Tech. <laughs> yes. Yes. Even bigger be news. Yeah. He's going to be a hokey. <laughs> it's a little confusing. <laughs> it's, like thinking, it's like Jay Leno today. <laughs> 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 Hi, guys. <laughs>